If you've got an Apple and you're sending photos, there's something you need to know about what it does in terms of resizing those images. And if you need to send photos in high resolution, then you really need to be aware of this. So I'm just going to go over to my finder and add a couple of pictures. So I've got some here. Let's just pop that one in. I can, so I just click and drag from the finder. It's going to choose this one and I could choose another one as well. I'm just going to click and drag that into here. If I just drop it there, it'll pop them all in. Now, let me just go back to my email. These pictures are big and they're actually going in actual size. Now, what you'll notice is over here, it says message size on the left-hand side, 4.8 megabytes. On the right-hand side, it says image size and it's got actual size here. That's the size that it was on your computer, it's sending it in full resolution of whatever you had. Now, if I was sending this to someone who's maybe looking at it on a mobile device or slow connection, I might just want to send it in small and you can see it resizes it. Message size is 184 kilobytes. I can change it to medium. And again, you'll see it's basically around about half a megabyte. Large has taken it up to 1.5 megabytes and actual size sends it in the full resolution. So if you are sending this to someone and they need the full image in high quality, then make sure it's sent over in actual size. Do check that because if it's large and they need it in high resolution, then if they try to upscale it, it can make the image look terribly grainy and pixelated. So that's just a little tip if sending photos using mail on your Apple computer.